uncontrolled bowels hear these words carefully and find the difference in phonics in each set cat car sit sir fin four when the letter r follows a vowel the vowel is usually forced to change its sound the vowel plus r stay in the same syllable and the r is softly pronounced for example bur nur kor nur har dur all these words have two syllables where each of the syllable has vowel plus r It's Mrs. Klein back for another foundations lesson with you this week. Uh, I wanted to start by reviewing what I worked on with you on Monday, which was the ick sound that comes in um, two syllable words um, versus one syllable. So here again, I'm just showing you the uh, slide that had the one syllable words on it, which were kick, chick brick and stick and they end with the CK digraph and today we are going to get to build some more words that have the ik ending um, with two syllables so I am going to dictate those to you and you can use your paper and pencil to practice along at home with me um, so make sure that you are using um, the brev over top of the short vowel sounds and also scooping the syllables, okay? So the first word that we are going to do is picnic, okay? So the word picnic, I went on a picnic in the park, picnic. So we are going to practice spelling this one together. So we need I, k. That was our first syllable, pick. Okay, so since we have the ick sound in a two syllable word, ick here is IC, and then we are actually going to need to do the IC again in the second syllable. So N for N, and then ick is going to be I, C here again. So here we have ick twice in a word, okay? So we have pick, nick. So I'm going to mark this with my two scoops, pick, nick. So you wanna mark that at home. And we are going to mark our short vowel, I, and our second short vowel it for picnic okay and the second word that i want to go over with you is topic topic the topic of our writing today is going to be butterflies topic so the first syllable is top and the second syllable is ick so we are going to need to write that together. So you're going to need your T for T. Ah. So you'll need your O. P for P. Your I and your C for the ick sound topic. So your first syllable is top. Good. So you're going to mark your first syllable 
And then your second syllable is ick. So you're going to make that your second syllable. And then you're going to mark your ah sound for your closed syllable. And also the i for the is sound. Okay, so picnic and topic. Those were the two new words that have the ick sound that is two syllables. friends and the last thing we are going to do is just build some review words with two syllables in them okay because I have some trick words that I want to introduce you to today okay we are going to build the word contact when you contact someone over the phone you can dial their phone number and then they can answer you contact so think about that what is our first syllable right con so what would we need for that? Did you say C O N? That is correct. Our first syllable is con. K -a -n, con. And our second syllable is tact. So what do we need for that? Okay. Did you say T A C T Contact. Good. Okay. So you can write contact at home. And then I'm not going to mark these for you. I'm going to have you practice those. And then when you are finished as an option, you can submit a picture of your work when you are finished with these. So the next two words that I would like you to practice marking at home are these two that I have just made for you. So I am going to ask you to mark the word expect, like I expect you to try your best in everything you do, and the word invent. Maybe someday you will invent something super cool. Okay, so at home, I would like you to practice marking those two words. So the last thing I'm going to do with you today is practice some trick words. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Alrighty friends, the last thing that we are going to do today is uh, get introduced to three new trick words from unit 12. And those three new trick words are Mr., Mrs., and friend, okay? So what I'm going to do is just use each one in a sentence. And then what I would like us to do is we are going to use our two fingers to trace on either a table or your own hand um, those words. So um, I'm going to model that using my hand so that you can see what I'm doing, but I wanna use my um, two fingers to do that. So the first word is Mr. So I'm going to be writing Mr. right here on my hand. So I'm going to, go to do capital M and lowercase r, and a period. Now, Mr. is the abbreviated form of um, a spelling, M-I-S-T-E-R. So we just write M, capital M, lowercase r, period. Okay, so we're going to, again, trace that on our hand. So it's going to be M-R, period. Okay, when you are finished with that, we're going to do that one more time. Okay, Whoop. here we go, capital M, R, period. Then we are going to make a sentence. So, Mr., mm, nah, I'm going to say people 
call my dad Mr. Paul. And since Mr. is our trick word, I am going to make it bold right now and I'm going to make it red so that we can see it. Okay. We always want to make sure to put that period next to that R there. Okay. Okay. Our next trick word is Mrs. Okay. So Mrs. is very much like Mr., except it has an S as well. Okay. So the trick word Mrs. is capital M R S period. Okay. So we are going to do that on our hand. So capital M R S period. Let's try that two more times. Capital M R S period. And one more time, capital M R S period. Okay, so my sentence is going to be my name is Mrs. Klein. And I'm going to highlight my trick word, make it bold and red. Okay, and our final trick word for unit 12 is friend. Okay, the word friend, we all know what a friend is, someone who we love to play with and be around. So as you notice, the word friend does not have a capital in the front of it. Um, it's not an abbreviation for anything. So uh, if you are writing this word by itself, it would not need a capital, um, unless it was the first word in a sentence, but that's not very popular. So let's see we're going to need to write the word friend here so i'm going to start on my left side and i'm going to do f r i e n d okay friend okay we're going to try that two more times f r i e n d and one more time, F-R-I-E-N-D. Okay, so let's make up a sentence for friend. Hmm, what might a sentence for the word friend be? Hmm, do you think you could make up a sentence for the word friend? Okay, I thought of one. All right, I'm gonna write mine, but how about you can write your own, okay? So at home, um, write your own sentence using the word friend and include it uh, in a picture if you want to with those two other words that we practiced today, okay? All right, so my sentence is going to be, I have a friend named Kim. I even capitalize the K in Kim because that is a name. So my word, my trick word is friend, and we're going to make that bold and red. All right, boys and girls, it was an awesome week. We're almost to Friday, so have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye.